my heart, I will be there. Um, this is uh, Romania, this is Arad, my hometown. I'm Georgiana Elena Popan, I'm a storyteller and an actress. I uh, will tell you, first of all, a story that I wrote and then a fairy tale, a classical basm, we call it in Romania, which has uh, a lot of uh, to do with um, traditions and with um, uh, life, usual life, daily life in the, in the peasants world in, in Romania back in the, in the old times. So, first of all, because I like to do this game all the time, we have to do a little bit of warm up, okay? So you just imagine yourself, you're like a little horse that is running like this and then just do what I do, okay? It's easy. My horse usually has a very funny and silly name. This time it's uh, called um, uh, Chubby Chubby. And then we can go. Let's do this. Go, 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 go. And we have to jump whenever I say clap, clap, clap. One, two. Okay. And we have to do like a queen. And like a king, your majesty. And like, a, like girls. Now you have to do like the like this, yeah. Make yourself very comfortable in your chair and in your beds or wherever your big bags or wherever you are sitting now. And breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Concentrate. You you have to concentrate all of you. Okay. I can see some of them are not very concentrated. John, are you concentrated? Okay, good. And so once upon a time. It was a beautiful, a handsome, a very smart, very courageous, very strong prince that lived. He was living in, with his family in a beautiful kingdom, in a beautiful castle. And he had everything he wanted. Of course, he was about to get the throne in a couple of years. But for now, his father, the king, was just watching him to see how his growing, you know, how his personality is developing, just watching from far. But he was very, very happy with it, him. And the prince had a lot of friends and they used to play and fight with swords, you know, but in the evening he would love to go with all his friends, countesses and counts and uh, princes and princes and all the, all the people that he loved to have around, they all went up in the tallest tower of his castle and that was his favorite place because that was the wisdom room yes of course it was the library and he loved to stay there with his friends and read them stories and novels and poetry or just sing to them something and he had all the books a young person needs with the uh, excitement and history and knowledge and the physics and mathematics and the um, scary stories and mysteries and adventures and romance and everything it was there and one night as he was just getting a book from the shelf something fell down some paper or something he opened it friend they said guys do you want to try this do you want to go to find it it's a very far away land but we can we can do it if you want to I have the map it's all there yes 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 said all the princesses we want to go we want to go well, of course <laughs> that's gonna be very easy for us we are boys we can do this so the next morning they all barked on the ship and went towards the very far away island and it was wonderful to see the sea 
Oh, so much water, so much blue. The sky was amazing. And it was like the water was just, just dancing and embracing the sun and the sky. It was an amazing adventure for them, the first days. Because then they realized that it was just water in front, water in the back, <laughs> water on the right, water on the other side. So uh, things got a little bit uh, scary because there were a lot of storms. It was just from one part to another. Whoa! Hold hands! Hold hands! No problem! <sighs> another storm went and they were safe but there was just water all over water in front water in the back water on the right water on the other side at one point uh, a princess because they all had colored names he said she said uh princess red i'm sorry i'm sorry Yes, of course, said the Prince Brown. There you have my bottle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. So, and they went along. But, of course, it was just water around. Water in front, water in the back, water on the right, water on the other side. And then at one point, uh, another prince, this time was a Prince Green, that said... <sighs> my belly. I'm so hungry. I have nothing to eat. Oh, that's no problem, said Princess um, Pink. <laughs> you can have my sandwich. Of course, usually princess, princess have um, diets to, to follow, so she wasn't on a diet. It was okay. There you go. You can have it. Thank you very much for helping me. No, no, no. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> That was so good. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Don't worry. And they went along, but the ship was just floating and floating, and there was just water in front, water in the back, water on the right, water on the other side. Okay. And then the storms came again. It was a very big storm, and thunders. But there was just water, water in front, water in the back, water on the right, water on the other side. And after so many days, after so many weeks of travel, Prince Blue was concerned and started to be very, very... He was hopeless. And he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying this. I don't think we can go. We can see. The island, it's too far. We will never find it. So, I'm sorry. I just want to go back home. <laughs> but all the other friends said, Friends, we are together. It's just, it's not just you. We are all here together. Don't worry. We can do this together. Okay? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Good. So they're all back together with a lot of energy. But there was water in front, water in the back, water on the right, water on the... Land! Let's go! Fast, 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 fast. Sweep, 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 sweep. Fast, 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 fast. Sweep, 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 sweep. <sighs> Until they were there. The island was finally at their feet. 
So he took the map. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. So we have to do 20 steps of an, an ant. So and then uh, four steps of an elephant. One, two, three, four. And two steps of a crab. One, two, and then three times you have to say as a, as a mouse. As a mouse. Kids, kids, kids. And two times as a, huh? Sorry. As a, ah, as a cow. And uh, one time, really scary. Uh huh. As a, as a cat. <laughs> they had a lot of fun with all of it, but oh, oh, it worked. They were in front of a bush, and in the bush was hidden a, a very old chest. <laughs> it was there. An old chest. That was the treasure. It was inside. They did it. They finally did it. It was just full of uh, spiders nets. <laughs> and <coughs> a lot of dust. They opened the chest. It was very old. <coughs> But they did it right. All the steps, all the map was going towards this and this is empty. So where is the treasure? No gold, no silver, no diamonds, no brilliance, no, no money, no nothing. Inside, because it was so old, the water just went from the, from the, from the base and got inside. And they just looked, there were just, just spots of water. They could just see their reflection. <laughs> That's it. So they looked inside, could see them, and then disappointed. They went back home. Oh, that was too much for them. So many dangers. And then for nothing, the next day, the Prince Blue went to his father and said, Your Majesty, my father, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried to, to find this treasure and there was nothing there. We just... I'm very disappointed. But the king said, My son, you found the treasure. Where? Where, father? Was nothing in there? Really? I'm telling you, was nothing there. No, but you found it. Wow! Where is it then? Well, the friendship that you have, the wonderful relation that you have with your friends, that's the treasure. Really? Yes, yes, yes. The king said, well, 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 when somebody was hungry, what happened on the ship? Well, somebody gave him food. Oh, you see? Somebody was thirsty. What happened? Well, somebody gave him water. When the princess was about, almost about to, 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 to drown, what happened? Well, somebody saved her life. Well, you see, that's the real treasure, the friendship, the true friendship. So from that day on, Prince Blue realized that he was very rich, not because of his high status and not because he had a lot of money, but because, because he had honesty and dignity and he gathered around him wonderful true friends to help him to have wonderful moments but also in bad and very hard moments to be helped by him by them so they lived happily ever after